Hey, in this little lecture, we're going to go over some important points from chapter five. And the main thing we want to talk about is inflation and the idea of real. In economics, anytime we say that something is expressed in real terms, it means it's been adjusted for inflation. That means that the inflation's been taken out or added in. It's just in one constant year's dollars. Uh, one of the tools that we use in chapter five to help us understand inflation is the consumer price index. Inflation is anytime there's an increase in the general level of price or it takes more money to buy the same stuff. Um, we want to see what CPI is and how we use that to help understand inflation. So CPI, the consumer price index, is the, a market basket of goods and services that the average American, the average urban American family buys. Now we all buy different stuff, but economists put these things into big categories that we buy. Pretty much, if we're lucky, we all buy housing, we all pay for gas and water and electricity and gasoline for our cars and food. So we've got some numbers. Hey, these numbers come right out of your chapter five homework. Uh, so I wrote them down so I, I remember them. So let's use 2018 as our base year, for example. We wanna make a CPI and then after we make CPI, we wanna see how it's used to calculate inflation. So you want to remember these numbers, they're in your homework. So CPI for 2018 was $56,100. So the way you get CPI is you take CPI for a given year, so like 56, 100, sorry, 100, and you divide it by whatever the base year is. In this case, the base year for 2018 is 56 100 so we know that anytime the numerator and the denominator are the same it's going to be one you know i should just to make it like the book times 100 so we're going to have one times 100 so that means that the 2018 cpi equals 100. the base year is always going to be 100 so your base year has always got to be 100 because for the base year, the numerator, the given year, and the denominator, the base year, are the same. So in our base year for 2018, we have a CPI of 100. So let's use that same idea to find out what CPI is going to be for 2019. For 2019, we had a, a market basket value of 62,200. Now we're going to divide that by our base year of 56, 100, and then we're going to multiply that times 100. So if we take the 62, 2 divided by the 56, 1, we get 1.1087. I wrote this down beforehand so I wouldn't mess it up. So now I'm going to take this resulting quotient and I'm going to multiply it times 100. And that means that the CPI for 2019, so 2019 CPI, is going to equal 110.87. Now that's the indexed value of the increase in price, but it's not inflation yet. It's just the CPI index value between 2018 and 2019. Okay, I'm going to erase this so we can figure out inflation. <laughs> the way we figure out inflation is we use CPI. Uh, CPI uh, is something that we're going to use for inflation in Chapter 5. In Chapter 6, we'll use the implicit price deflator. It's just a broader interpretation. So to get inflation, we're going to take CPI from some given year, like 2019, and then we're going to take CPI from our base year, like 2018, and we want to do that math first, and then we are going to divide that by CPI in the first year. If you want, we can do it all together like this. And then we're going to multiply it times 100. Now that's going to actually give us our inflation value. So I've written it too big, so I'm just going to get rid of, lop off that little piece there. Okay, so CPI 
uh, two, I think was 110.87. CPI one, our base year, is going to be 100. And I'm going to divide that by 100. So I think I can fit it down here, guys. So that's going to give me uh, 110. 10.87 over 100. I hope that that's okay with you guys. Now I'm going to take this, I, I still have to do this math, and then I have to multiply it times 100. So I'm going to take 10.87 divided by 100. So 10.87 divided by 100, that's going to equal um, point 1087. That's a, a zero. 1087. Now I'm going to take this and multiply it times my 100, and that's going to give me my actual inflation rate. So my actual inflation rate is going to be about 10.87%, or we could even round it up to just 10.9%. So that's inflation. So that means in this example, prices went up almost 11% between 2018 and 2019. Hey, inflation's a big deal in economies. It's something that we really want to focus on. And understanding how inflation and real go together is going to go a long way, not just in Chapter 5, but in Chapter 6. Thanks for watching, and keep viewing.